My name is Jim Keegan. I'm a fourth grade and fifth grade teacher at Sandy Mount Elementary School. Today what I want to do is demonstrate to you how to add fractions to like denominators using Cuisinier rods. One of the most important things when we're dealing with Cuisinier rods is basically allowing the students to understand the concepts of fractions. When I first begin instruction, I basically have the students take the Cuisinier rods out and basically explore. They start to find out that there's many different sizes, different numbers, and different pieces that make up the holes. What I basically ask the students to do at that point is to take a look at one of the simplest questions. What is a half? And through the kids' explorations, what usually ends up happening is many of the students end up coming up with an orange rod and showing me that, and then identifying that the yellow is equivalent to a half. I ask the question, why? Why is yellow a half? The students have to define for me that a half is basically taking the whole, splitting it up into two equal parts, and now making one of those one half of the whole. They're defining a half by the whole. There's always that one student that always, when I ask that same question, identifies not the yellow as a half, but the white as a half. And I ask why. And they say, well, because the whole is red, and two whites are equivalent to the red. The students have a discussion that a half is different based upon the size of the whole. So from that knowledge, of identifying the whole, we get into a problem such as this. 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to n. We want to start to introduce this. We want to take a look at algebraic reasoning. There's an unknown, so we add net, a variable to this. But now what we do is we take a look at the fractional pieces of 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. To do that, what we do is we basically create what we call a color train. Now, in this particular color train, the whole is defined as the orange plus the red. It's a compound figure. But this gives a lot of the teachers the ability to utilize a lot more fractional pieces in here. The students are asked to build the color train where they're identifying the same color pieces making up equivalents of the whole. Here we have dark green making the halves, purples equaling the thirds, light greens equaling fourths, and so on down the line. As you can see, they're all equivalent to the same length as the whole orange plus red. So coming back to the problem of two fourths plus one fourth, I asked the students what is equivalent to the fourths. And in the color train, what they identify is that the light greens are equivalent to the fourths, because four light greens are equal to one whole piece, being the orange plus the red. So what I have them, at, have them do is basically take, well, an equivalent form. So they're going to say two fourths. Well, that would be equivalent to one, two light greens. Then what they're going to do is they're going to identify that one fourth would be one light green. In order to add, what we're going to do is we're going to find the total length of that. So they would put all three fourths together. Now at first, a lot of the students will say it's equivalent to three fourths, which is fantastic. They're starting to identify that one fourth plus one fourth plus another fourth is equivalent to three fourths. But what I ask the students to do then is to find that one rod color that would be equivalent to the three greens. At this point, it's a blue. Now the reason why we want, that, want to do that is because n is equal to one blue. It's equal to one number. So at that point, we go, come back to our color train. And I ask the students to overlap the blue with the color train. And we always begin with the whole. I ask the students, does two fourths plus one fourth equal the whole? Obviously from this, it does not. There's a little bit left over of the orange and some of the red. So then I have them go down and I have them identify, is it equivalent to a half? The answer is no. It overlaps a half. It does not come to the full whole. Then I have some thirds. And they continuously go down until eventually they find out that the blue is equal to three of the greens. This is equivalent to three fourths. But we don't stop there. Some of the students want to explore a little bit further. Then we go down to the six, the reds. They start to identify, no, it does not. Then we go down to the twelfths, twelfths being the whites because the twelve whites are equal to the whole. At that point, what they start to realize is that nine out of the twelve, nine twelfths, is also equivalent to that. So there's two answers to this particular question, nine twelfths, three fourths. The students then can have the conversation, what's the simplest way to identify two fourths plus one fourth? Most of the students would come up with three fourths because it's simpler. There's three pieces. Whereas this one was not a simple 9 twelfths. And they start to identify simplest form, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth being 3 fourths. 
9 twelfths is also correct, but 3 fourths is being the simplest one. So at that point, what we found, adding fractions with like denominators, the students can utilize the Cuisinier rods to understand the concepts of fractions and be able to then justify their response using a color train and come up with multiple responses. That's adding fractions with like denominators using Cuisinier rods.